it's been two years since Anton Del Rosario has played professionally, but the original Ascals member continues to have a stake in Filipino national football. From launching the Sevens Football League to starting and owning the Philippine Football League's Manila Maharlika and developing the Palaro app that helps Philippine footballers find games and leagues to take part in. And now just as he did nearly 20 years ago, the San Francisco Bay Area native is hoping to bring back some new talents to the Philippines. I was lucky enough to live both lives, you know, out in the Philippines and in the Bay. And I was able to see how Philippines, um, I guess the foundation of football there was, you know, in the past and how it is now. And it's extremely different and now is a great opportunity for football to get much better and more people to be able to take that opportunity and go travel out there. On December 11th, Del Rosario, along with several Philippine Football League or PFL teams, will be holding a scouting combine in the U.S., looking for top players to play professional soccer in the Philippines. For a registration fee, aspiring players can sign on to tinyurl.com slash PFL tryout. Players as young as 16 years old and some in their 30s have already signed up. We want to be able to give kids the opportunity to showcase themselves out here and be able to try and provide them a route to play pro in the Philippines, right? So with this first combine that we're hosting up in San Bruno at Skyline College on December 11th, we are looking to have about 30 kids come over and we want to choose from those 30 kids and see if any of them have the talent to be able to send over to the Philippines. As Del Rosario is caught up in World Cup fever watching his favorite teams play, he believes by strengthening the local Philippine clubs, the Philippines could eventually produce a men's World Cup team. Hopefully the U.S. national team is very successful this World Cup and we get to see that translate into more players being sent over to the Philippines and coming to these combines. A local professional league that gets better over time will make the local players better. You know, and that's what, that's what a lot of the foreign players do, you know. Our local level in the Philippines is good, but it's not great. So that's why we need to find great players abroad to bring over there and impact, influence, and sort of, I guess, teach our local players over there how to be able to get better, because it raises the level of competition. In the PFL, each team is allowed to recruit four foreigners. Del Rosario emphasizes that players don't necessarily have to be Filipino or hold Philippine citizenship. But being a dual citizen could open up more doors and wouldn't count against the team's foreigner quota. Steve Angelo, ABS-CBN News, Beverly Hills, California.